Hey guys, and uh, well, welcome to the, f well, congratulations, you made it to the weekend, another week in isolation. Um, but yeah, so today I'm going to be running through a wine bottle workout, and uh, basically all you, need to, all you need to do this workout is a wine bottle or anything else you have that's handy that is a little bit of a weight. So it's not going to be overly intense, but at the same time it is going to be a bit of a workout. So for today's session, basically I've got a nice little, nice little red, and then I've got a, uh, a little bottle of white. So, Basically, as we're going to get through it, um, we're going to go run through uh, through ten different different exercises, and uh, basically we're going to go uh, through everything, explain everything as we go along. So um, basically, do you not want that? No, it's fine. Sorry. Um, sorry, I've got my little helper in the background, and she's basically just saying that do you want to turn the camera around. I'm like, no, no, not really. And I've got it all set up and all ready to go. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get warmed up first, and all we're going to do is go down and going to go into some squats with a little bit of a hip, hip opener. So down, into a squat, and open, down, and up, and open. So before we do really start any kind of real work, I really want to make sure that everyone's feeling capable of doing everything they have that we do today, as well as basically making sure your surroundings are clear. There's no dogs, there's no nothing else that's going to be in, in the way. Right, so go a couple more, down and through. And then we're just going to, all we're going to do from now is just going to swing our arms out and in. Just keep those arms a little bit warm. And then we're going to start our workout very, very shortly. Right. So, basically each exercise we're going to do is one minute, one minute work, 15 seconds rest. So grabbing your wine bottles, we're going to go straight right into it. So really is a quick short warm up, but what we're going to do is get right into it straight away. So... I've got a timer already set up, so everyone grab their wine bottles, and we're going to be starting in five seconds. The first one we're going to do is an overhead squat to thrust. So down and up overhead. So up, pressing up right, right over your head. So hopefully no one's going to be dropping their wine. So nice deep squat, drive up through and press overhead. So 20 seconds gone, so we've got 40 more seconds. So this is also kind of an elongated warm up. So getting your heart rate nice and high really quite early. So that's halfway. So again, keeping that nice rhythm, nice and deep down through the heels and up. Driving up overhead. So 10 seconds left, so keep breathing. So try and breathe out on the way up and in on the way down. So three, two, one, and have a little rest. Next one we're going to go into is a reverse lunge. So one foot in front of the other, and all we're going to do is lunging down. At halfway, we're going to swap over. So down and up and driving through that front heel. So ready to go. And let's go. So really pushing through that front heel, driving up and in. So keeping those bottles nice and tight to your sides, just that little bit of extra weight and resistance. So with 10 more seconds, we're gonna change sides. So change sides. So other foot forward, again sinking nice and low, pushing through that front heel. Another 10 seconds to go. And again, make sure you stay hydrated throughout this. Don't drink your wine. I've got another bottle of water just on the side. So three, two, last one, and then So have a bit of rest. So the next one's a little bit more complicated. So it's gonna be single leg RDL into an airplane. So grabbing your bottles again. What we're gonna do is go down, keeping your back leg nice and straight, and out into an airplane. Again, we're gonna swap, swap, at halfway, down and through. Just keeping that balance. So down, extend those shoulders. Forward, extending out into that nice airplane. 
this is the closest anyone's going to get to an airplane in the next couple months. And change sides. So again, down, leg nice and straight, feel that bit of a stretch in the hamstring and extend out. So forward and extend. So last 10 seconds, so keep it going. So three, two, one, and you're gonna put your bottles down. So the next one we're gonna do is nice and wide. What we're gonna do is go into a down dog and we're gonna go through and touch each bottle. So into a nice down dog position, I'm gonna come through into a plank, go across and back, through and touch. So you can make this a little bit harder by going through, touching, go back across, touch your opposite ankle. Through, touch, and in. So through, touch, and across. So into the down dog, touch, touch, and back. Down, touch, touch, and back. As easy as that. So nice and strong through the core. Keep that belly tucked nice and tight, and back through. So nice and strong, last little bit, 10 seconds to go. Get nice, bit of core work in, getting the heart rate nice and stable. So three, two, one, and we're back up. So the next exercise I'm gonna do is a lateral raise to a front raise. So grabbing your bottles, gonna go out to the side, then out to the front. So out to the side, out to the front. So let's go. So one minute work, side, then to the front. So lateral raise into a front raise. So keeping that core nice and strong, start to really work into those shoulders. Again, so that's halfway. So again, keeping those shoulders nice and strong as you're coming up, then back down to the middle, then out to the front, again, nice and strong. So keeping it at a nice, even pace. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So last little bit, so you've got 10 seconds left. So you should start feeling a bit of a burn in the shoulders about now. Out to the side. And out to the front. So three, two, one, and have a little rest. Right, so the next one we're going to do is an eight point curl. So the first movement's going to be up to the side, out, up, down, again, back the way we came. So grabbing the two bottles, so curling up, then out to the side, 90 degrees, again 90 degrees, up, and press back down. It's so going to count as we go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna keep this going for a minute. So you should start to feel your shoulders start burning just about now. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we've got 20 seconds left. Again, you don't actually have to use a wine bottle for this. You can use a water bottle, a can of beans, a can of chopped tomatoes. Uh, I've even got some coffee over in the corner here. But as we're going to keep going, so last little set. And three, two, one, and have a little rest. Right, so the next one we're going to do is basically going through, going onto our knees. And we're gonna grab the bottles and we're gonna raise our shoulders to the side. So bending over, keeping those bottles nice and high and out to the side. So from here, out and squeezing shoulders back. So out to the side and back down. So nice big shoulder squeeze at the top. So if you're like me, even with such a small weight, 
It's kind of a little bit of extra added resistance. My, even my shoulders are starting to feel it a little bit. The heart rate's staying at a nice, steady pace. So you're over halfway. I'm just going to keep raising out to the side and back down. So a nice big squeeze and down. Keeping that core nice and strong. Tucking that tummy in and out to the side. So the last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and have a little rest. So the next one we're going to do is going to be quite tough. So putting your bottles a little bit further outside where your yoga mat is. So we're going to go into a plank, we're going to walk across, touch the bottle, and back across. So nice and strong in the plank. So walking to the right, touch with your left hand. Walking back to the left, touch with your right. In it and touch. So keeping that core nice and strong, feeling that burn right in your shoulders. So keeping hands right underneath your shoulders and walking across. Through and in. So we've only got a couple more exercises in set one. So we're going to be doing this for three sets. So keep going. Keep you nice and strong in that core. And trying to regulate your breathing. So the last five seconds. Three, two, one, and have a little rest. So the next one's gonna be not so intense. So grabbing just the one bottle now. So gonna go one foot back, one foot forward. So a nice, long, nice position. Come down, I'm gonna row up and extend out the back. So down, down, up, and extend. So tricep extension. So up and extend. Down to the bottom. Up, squeeze those shoulders and come back and extend using that tricep. So we're going to swap over at halfway. So we've got another 10 seconds. Up and in, so swap over. So again, lunging nice and, nice and far back, grabbing under here, pulling up and extending. Up. Extend, keeping that chest nice and high. So down, through, extend, back down. For the last 10 seconds. When I was testing this out yesterday, I was actually quite surprised how hard it was. So three, two, one, and rest. So we've got the last exercise, which is basically a low to high wood chop. So we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. So going nice and low, extending up, raising it to the sky, back down to the other side, and through. So, ready to go, and let's go. So extending up, and in, up, and through. So keeping that nice and strong, twisting your core through. Hopefully if you have Prosecco, which you're using instead, you might not shake it up too much. You can open it afterwards. But this is just a bit of fun. I'm going to swap sides. So down to the opposite side, up and extend. It's a nice long extension, feeling a little bit of stretching your hip flexor up into the middle. So you've got 20 seconds left, and that's the end of set one after this. So I have a nice long breather. So a minute and a half. So through and up. So the last 10 seconds. So keeping that core nice and strong and keeping your balance. And last one, and we're resting. So that is the first set. So they're all 10 exercises. We're gonna run that through that again two more times. So quick, short, sharp, about 40 minute session. Again, it's not gonna to be too intense, but it's a bit of fun. Especially on a Friday, you're gonna earn that wine, especially being at home. So the other thing I did wanna talk about as well, is one of the reasons why I'm doing this is to try and help people at home, basically try and keep fit, stay fit, but also in support of a charity that is quite close to me, which is Back On Side. So Back On Side, 
they're a charity that works with mental health all around Scotland. So they don't go anywhere down near England, but they do do a thing called support through sport. Now, I'll send put up a link later on, which will have a just giving the, the donation page for that. And I hope anyone, if you have some spare cash or you can have something spare, and you'd like to help them out. They are doing a lot of really, really good work, but they are struggling at the moment just because they can't really do any fundraisers just because of the climate that we're in. So, right, so we're gonna get ready to go. So, a bit more of a rest, have a little drink. You've got another 20 seconds rest, and we're gonna go rep for round two. So, 10 more seconds. I'm gonna go straight on to the squat to an overhead press. So grabbing your bottles again, just setting up, being nice and ready. So feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and pushing right through your heels, down and up. So nice big drive through your heels, squeeze your bum at the top, and through. Remember to breathe, so in on the way down, and breathe out on the way up. So that's halfway. So nice deep squats. So you should actually be doing about 30 squats for each set of these. So at the end of the day, you're doing about 90 squats all in all. And most people say, oh, I did 90 squats. No, I can't do 90 squats, that's, not, that's too much. But splitting it up with other good exercises in between, that definitely feels like a lot less. So three, two, one, and then have a rest. So we're gonna go on to our lunges next. So again, one foot forward, one foot back, sinking nice and deep, keeping that chin and your chest up. So you're gonna go down and up, pushing through your front heel. So we go again, down and through, and push through that front heel. Remember, we're changing it halfway, so after 30 seconds, we're going to change sides. Keep that chest nice and high, push, drive through that front heel and squeeze that bum as you get to the top. And change sides. Down and through. Fix the camera up in a second. No, Pushing through that front heel and up to the top. Last little bit, so three, two, one. I'll fix this camera up. So, there you go. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we're going to go onto our RDL with the lift, so into your airplanes. So grab onto the bottles, so nice and low, and lift out to the side. Back to the top, keeping our balance all the way through, nice and long, into an airplane. Keeping that core nice and strong. Remember, we're changing it halfway. So you've got another few seconds left. So changing over, and to the other side. So down and through, and up to the top. Down, and out to the side. So come forward, out to the side, and back down to the bottom. Three, two, one, and have a nice rest. So, we're gonna go on to our down dogs. So down dog and touching the wine bottle each side. So again, having your wine bottles nice and far apart. So down into the down dog, through into a plank. We're gonna go touch the side. So down and through and touch. Plank, down dog, plank, touch. Keeping that core nice and strong, nice and stable. And again, if you want to make this a little bit harder, go through, touch, and touch the opposite heel. 
touch, through, and in. Touch, through, touch your ankle, and through. Cross, and back to the middle. Cross, back to the middle. So last 20 seconds. So keep me nice and strong in your core. Through down to the bottom, up, and you're in. Through, down, touch, touch, through, and back to the middle. Keeping that core nice and strong. So last three seconds, and have a rest. So, the next one we're gonna do is back onto the lateral raise, then into a front raise. So grabbing your bottles again, we go out to the side, and out to the front. So ready to go, and let's go. So out to the side, then to the front. Nice and strong through your shoulders. Happen around after this one. You're halfway through the whole work workout. That's 15 exercises done. So through, nice and strong. Squeeze your shoulder, shoulder blades up together, out to the side, then raise to the front. So make sure you're bracing your core as you raise it to the front. So nice, strong, and stable in the middle. So through, up, and out to the side. So last 10 seconds, nice and strong, starting to feel that little bit of a burn in your shoulders. Again, you can do this with heavier weights if you want to, just something that everyone's most likely got a bit handy at the time. So have a little rest. So the next one we're gonna do is eight point curls. So again, doing the eight points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So starting at the bottom, so ready to go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've done these done these workouts. There'll be another one coming up next week, which is a rucksack workout. So fill up, filling up your rucksack with beans, chopped tomatoes, pretty much anything you have handy that adds a little bit of weight. It's a bit more of an intense workout than the wine bottle one. After all, it is Friday, so don't work you too hard. You've been working hard all week. So the last 20 seconds, again, keeping that rhythm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last five seconds, so last one. Down to the bottom and have a little rest. So next one we're gonna do is the walkout. So, Going again, putting the bubbles nice and wide. And then you walk in side to side in a plank position. So coming down to the bottom, up into a plank, and then walk to the side, touch with your opposite hand. So two to the left, out. Back to the middle, back to the right, and touch. So making sure that your hands are right underneath your shoulders and nice and strong in your core. And remember, don't forget to breathe. It's funny how many people that do exercise and they always forget to breathe. It's not as though it keeps you alive or anything. But it is really, really important. I say that as I keep talking and therefore I can't breathe. So, 20 more seconds left. So through and touch and across. Last 10 seconds, keeping nice and strong, really focusing on your technique, and cross, and have a little rest. So coming down onto your knees, what we do is go and grab the wine bottles, bring them to the sides, then we do a bent over, extension out to the side. So last three seconds, three seconds more rest, and let's get going. So out to the side, keeping your chin and chest nice and high. Out to the side, and really squeezing your shoulder blades together. Anyone that I've had as a client before, 
they'll know the story, but whenever you're squeezing two things together, will it be your glutes, your shoulder blades, or anything? Basically, I had a Pilates teacher when I was younger. He said, pretend there's, pretend there's a $50 note between there. Again, this is back in Australia. But still, same goes for a 20 pound note. So squeeze, and you don't want to let it go. So squeeze, 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 and back down to the bottom. So last 15 seconds. Squeezing out to the side, and in. So last five. So three, two, one, and have a little rest. And if you need to, have a drink. If you're struggling with anything, feel free to have a pause at any, any moment. These are all designed to be more uh, longer, lot larger repetitions rather than nice and heavy. But next one I'm gonna do, into your row to the tricep extension. So grabbing one bottle, rowing up, and extending out to the back. Again, you can grab it from anywhere. Actually, probably a lot easier. Probably feel a bit more if you grab it right from the neck of the bottle for this one. So through, chin, chin and chest up, nice and high, down to the bottom. Also, I had an old coach who used to say that it's not like you're starting a lawnmower, so nice and slow tempo. Changing sides. So through, so rowing up and extending. You're not starting a lawnmower, you're nice and controlled. Actually, something I haven't really seen in the UK. <laughs> Lawn mowers with a pull start. Through, up, to the side. So, last five seconds. So, pulling up and extend and have a little rest. So, last exercise, again, it's going to be the low to high wood chops. So, nice and long, extending right through the core, nice and strong, extending up, extending that hip. So down to the side, up and extend into a mini squat, down and drive up. For anyone who's seen my, the other video I did with the superhero and animal theme, this is called Thor's hammer. So reaching for Thor's hammer, raising it up to the sky. So the last 10 seconds, we're gonna change sides. So three, two, one, and change sides. Up and extend. Through and extend. So nice and strong into that mini squat, and now just raise that heart rate up. This is the last exercise in the set, and a nice big rest in between. So last five seconds. So keep going all the way to the end. So three, two, can you fit one more in? And up, and have a rest, and have a drink. So anyway, hope that if you're enjoying it, if not, then as long as it gives some kind of enjoyment, and they can put a smile on your face. So another minute and 15 seconds rest, and we're gonna go again. So if you can hear what's in the background, we actually have a, have a timer set up, and it gives me a beep notification. That way, I can focus on what I'm doing. It's actually really, really good when I'm doing runs. So, for example, I download it to my phone, got wireless headphones, and what I'll do is run up and back for 40 seconds, for example, going up and back, up and back, and when I hear the beep, I know that I'm finished, and I've got my 20 seconds rest, rather than having to do a set distance. That way I can monitor exactly how far I'm going. Anyway, so one of the other things I really did want to talk to everyone about is, especially in this climate that we're in at the moment, is trying to get up and have routines. Trying to develop habits at, at different points for different things in your life. So, even if it's getting out of bed in the morning, going and having a shower, just to get you started for the day, because at the end of the day, we might be in this for quite a long time, I know it's a sad thought, but at the same time, really, really important that you try and keep up a routine. You don't get into, into basically bringing, bringing yourself down and bring yourself into a position where you're not really focusing on anything in life. And that's why, for example, I'm supporting Back On Side, because with self-isolation, with isolation, at the moment, it is gonna be really tough for people especially in their heads. So that's why I'm supporting a charity that is for mental health. Anyway, back onto the next one. So last set, in through, and I'm gonna go down into the squats, into the overhead press. Sorry for waffling on there a little bit. So nice deep squat, pushing through your heels. And again, remember that $50 note or 20 pound note. 
squeeze your bum together at the top. So squeeze and extend. So chin your chest up, nice and high. And then nice deep squat through and press. That's halfway. So remember to keep breathing. And keep going, keep pushing. So last little bit, so 20 seconds left. So driving up through the heels and to the top. Last 10 seconds. Driving up and through. So three, two, one, and have a rest. So the next one we're gonna go on to is the lunges again. So this is the last time you throw everything, so give it your max effort. Don't want anyone stopping, anyone stopping early. So we're going through into the, into the lunge. So nice and strong, nice and balanced, pushing through your front heel, squeezing your bum and driving to the top. So chinning your chest up nice and high. Just these bottles just to add that little bit of resistance. If you really want to, you make this a little bit harder. All you're gonna do is come down, race to the side and back up. Down, race to the side and up. Changing sides, so planting that foot, getting your bounce, so down, out to the side, just to add that little bit more to it. So last 20 seconds, so really pushing through and up, really through that front foot, back in the heel, keeping that, no, that knee driving across the toes. So driving it forward and up to the top and have a rest. Right, so the next one I'm gonna do is back onto the airplanes. So, one of my favorite exercises, that's why I've had to do it. Again, going forward, raising out to the side, and flying like a plane. So let's go. So out to the side, and back in. Remember, we're swapping it halfway, so after 30 seconds, swapping and changing. Good. Remember to keep breathing. Again, it's really quite difficult doing this while trying to talk the whole way through. And if anyone that's tried to talk and work out at the same time, changing sides, it's a lot more difficult than you think. That's when you try and find out what intensity the workout is. So if it's five and above, usually you can only do a few words in a sentence. If you're going too easy, you can do the whole sentence, no problem. So through, and extend out to the side, squeezing the shoulders nice and far back. So through and out, and have a little rest. So next one we're gonna do is back into the down dog and then touch the bottle. So bottle's out to the side again. Move this forward just a little bit as I keep kicking it back. I'm gonna go through, into the down dog, forward, extend, and reach across. So you can do this with either the near arm, through, or crossing over. Crossing over is a little bit harder, so through and extend. Down, through, nice and strong with the core, trying to limit any hip movement as you go from here and across. Making sure your hands are firmly pl planted underneath your shoulders, so through and touch. I've actually got these a little bit too far away, making that a little bit harder for myself. So through, nice and strong in the plank position, cross and touch. So the last 15 seconds, down and cross, and in. Down and cross, and in. So the last little bit, so five, four, Three, two, one, and we're gonna come down and have a bit of a rest. Whew. So, next one we're gonna do is out to the side, into the front raise. So lateral raise into a front raise. So grab onto your bottles again, so out to the side, then out to the front. Out to the side, and out to the front. Don't know why I've worn a great shirt. When you start sweating, you definitely see every little drop. Don't worry, it's not wine that's spilling on me at the moment. 
well, two fair ones, screw cap, one's a cork. <sighs> it's gonna make some joker there. That wine bottle workout being a bit of a corker. Oh well. <sighs> Got such a bad sense of humor. That's why I like to say to people sometimes, when I'm in the gym or I'm out and about, have you seen my undershorts? No, it's because they're camo. I'm hoping there's a collective eye roll for everyone out there right now. So last three seconds, and we're gonna have a rest. So coming down, so again, a little bit of a shake out. Have a little bit of a wipe down, have a drink if you need to. We've got 10 more seconds, then we're gonna go up into our eight points again. So three, two, one, into the middle, out to the side, out to the top, and pressing overhead. So keeping your elbows and your arms a nice 90 degree, so through and across. Keeping that chin and your chest up, up, through, down, down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna keep going. So one, two, three, four. So you're over halfway now. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So last 10 seconds. Last five. So last time through, press, down, 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 and then have a rest. Right, so the next one we're gonna do, again, is the plank walks out to the side with a tap. This is one of the hard ones. So now your shoulders should be starting to burn a little bit. Start feeling a really nice burning sensation in the shoulders. A little sizzle. I'm going to put this back. So walking across, touch with the opposite hand. Walking across, keeping that core nice and strong. And through. Cross. And touch. So keep keeping the chin and your chest up. Keep that core nice and braced. If you're struggling at all, feel free to come down into the middle. Just come down to your knees for a second, and go up to the side again. So through and touch. So walking to the side. Again, this is me just experimenting with different workouts and different ways to do it, just to keep everyone potentially laughing at me and a bit entertained throughout these times. And again, these are all free to view, but if you feel like it, and please say you can, you please do, Let's try and donate to Beth on the side because they need all the support they can get at the moment. Right, so, I'm gonna go from here into our arm extensions at the side. So grabbing your bottles again, so down, and extending out to the side, so bottles facing up way, up. Remember in that $50 or 20 pound note, Squeezing your shoulder blade back. Again, this isn't a high intensity workout, but something half an hour every day, something that you've got around the house. Like I said before, I've got a couple of coffee containers. Same thing. Make a little bit of a shake out to the side and again even if there's if that's a bit too heavy or you want to go a little bit lighter good old chopped tomatoes so out to the side and squeezing the shoulder blades back just any kind of a little bit of resistance you don't even need to have this resistance here just have your thumb facing out to the top and squeeze back and have a rest so last two exercises so into your tricep extension so into a row and extending back. So nice wide stance. So into the lunge position, coming forward, elbow on top of your knee. Going to pull back and extend. Down to the bottom, pull back and extend. And then really squeeze your shoulder blades together and squeeze your tricep right to the sky, onto the roof. That's 
and they're all stuck indoors now. Actually, I heard a good joke the other day, so I'm going to swap over at halfway. So, I heard a good joke the other day. So, what are your travel plans for the weekend? And change sides. And they said, well, to the window, to the window, to the wall. Anyway, bad joke, bad humour. Through and extend. Up. So, the last 10 seconds, then we're on to our last exercise. Squeezing back and extending. Down, up, squeeze and extend. And then have a little rest. So, last exercise is that low to high wood chop, or like I like to call it, now the Thor's hammer. Now that name is going to stick with me, just because it's so much nicer than a wood chop. So Thor's hammer raise, and raise up the hammer and twist up to the sky, nice and long, into a mini squat and extend. So drive and power. It's a good one for all the golfers out there. I know there's a couple watching. Good one to just keep working on that core movement as you swing the club. So up and through. So the last five seconds, I'm gonna change sides. Again, this is the last exercise. So changing sides, up and through, up and through. So this is the last exercise. So get it really all the way to the end. Maybe you can add an extra one in, just for good luck. Through and extend. One of the tricks here as well is to follow the wine bottle with your chin and your eyes. Just keeps your shoulders nice and square. So the last three seconds, three, two, one, and have a rest. So that is a wine bottle workout. Something that I thought hopefully someone's gonna enjoy, someone might try. You never know. I'm getting I'm quite out of breath. And yeah, well, at the end of the day, I enjoyed it. But this is, again, this is something that's completely new to me. I'm not used to being on camera in this capacity. Um, but again, I will post, be posting up links, number one, to back on side, so to keep supporting them throughout these tough times. And the other link I'm gonna be posting, so this workout will be available on YouTube as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. And, well, enjoy that glass of wine now. Cheers. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be able to figure out how to turn this off.